Biblical Importance of Israel Israel holds a central place in the Bible as the nation chosen by God to represent His name and purpose on earth. The Bible recounts how Jehovah made a covenant with Abraham, promising that his descendants would become a great nation, Genesis chapter 12 verses 1 to 3. This covenant extended through Isaac and Jacob, whose name was changed to Israel, thus making him the patriarch of the nation. Jehovah's Witnesses believe that Israel was chosen not because of their merit but because of God's love and His promise to Abraham. As a nation, Israel was to be a light to other nations, demonstrating Jehovah's standards of worship and justice. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verses 7 to 9. Isaiah chapter 43 verses 10 to 12. The Role of the Law Covenant Jehovah's Witnesses emphasize the Law Covenant given through Moses at Mount Sinai. This covenant set Israel apart as a special possession of God, Exodus chapter 19 verses 5, 6. The law included moral, civil, and ceremonial aspects that guided the Israelites in their daily lives and worship. Importantly, it also provided prophetic foreshadowing of the Messiah. However, the witnesses explained that the law was temporary and served as a tutor leading to Christ, Galatians chapter 3 verse 24. When Jesus fulfilled the law, it ended and a new covenant was instituted, open to all people, not just Israelites. Romans chapter 10 verse 4. Hebrews chapter 8 verses 6 to 13. Israel's unfaithfulness and consequences. Jehovah's Witnesses highlight how Israel's history was marked by cycles of faithfulness and unfaithfulness. Despite Jehovah's blessings and guidance, the Israelites often turned to idolatry and disobedience, leading to consequences such as captivity in Babylon, 2 Kings chapter 17 verses 7 to 23. 2 Chronicles chapter 36 verses 15 to 21. The ultimate rejection came when Israel, as a nation, refused to accept Jesus as the Messiah. Witnesses point to Matthew chapter 21 verse 43, where Jesus stated that the kingdom of God would be taken from Israel and given to a nation producing its fruits, a reference to spiritual Israel. The role of spiritual Israel. Jehovah's Witnesses teach that after the rejection of Jesus by fleshly Israel, the focus shifted to spiritual Israel, which comprises Jesus' anointed followers. Romans chapter 9 verses 6 to 8. This spiritual nation transcends ethnic boundaries and includes people from all nations who become spiritual sons of Abraham through faith in Christ. Galatians chapter 3 verses 26 to 29. The anointed members of spiritual Israel are believed to have the hope of ruling with Christ in heaven as part of the 144,000 mentioned in Revelation chapter 7 verses 4 to 8 and Revelation chapter 14 verses 1 to 3. Modern Israel Jehovah's Witnesses do not view the modern political state of Israel as having special significance in God's purpose. They believe that God's promises are now fulfilled in spiritual terms through Jesus Christ and his followers. The re-establishment of Israel as a political nation in 1948 is not seen as a fulfillment of Bible prophecy but rather as a secular event with no bearing on the outworking of God's will. Lessons from Israel's History Jehovah's Witnesses draw several lessons from Israel's history. They stress the importance of obedience to Jehovah, loyalty in worship, and the need to remain separate from the corrupting influences of the world. Israel's experiences serve as examples for Christians today. 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 11. Prophecies and their fulfillment. Jehovah's Witnesses understand many prophecies related to Israel as having symbolic or spiritual fulfillment. For example, the restoration of Israel after exile is viewed as a foreshadowing of spiritual restoration for Jehovah's people. Ezekiel's vision of dry bones, Ezekiel chapter 37, is interpreted as symbolic of Jehovah's restoration of his people, not just physically but spiritually. Jehovah's Witnesses' perspective on Israel is thus deeply rooted in their interpretation of the Bible. They view Israel's history as pivotal in understanding God's dealings with humanity but emphasize that the focus has shifted to a worldwide congregation united by faith in Jesus Christ. Please share and like and please subscribe.